Hey guys. A um, couple um, last modifications, hopefully, to this oven. We uh, we did anneal a sheet on a sample run, and uh, we cut it. And we had a little bit too much heat in the front of this oven because that's where the heat source was. So we extended the the, uh, the flame tube out. And um, we're going to put the fire blanket over that. So uh, we're going to try to blow more hot air down the, down the uh, flame tube than the flame. We're trying to get air down there, not flame. We had flame there. And what happened was it actually, it actually heated the glass too hot and um, distorted the glass. It must have been over 1,300 at this point. Uh, we brought the middle of the oven up to like 900, and we, we, um, it took us like two hours to get the heat to 900, and then we held 900 for a half hour, and then we pulled out our burner and our vent, and we capped, and it, and it cooled very slow. The next, this morning, we had just opened the oven up, and it was uh, 200 in there first thing in the morning, so it held its temperature. And, it, you know, I think they recommend an hour of um, an hour of cooling is good enough to anneal, but since since we're not gonna um, we can't make any mistakes, so what we're trying to do is just let it let it just cool down normally. So we're gonna tomorrow we're gonna set up for eight. We're gonna heat up eight and um, seven. I'm sorry, because we did this one. We actually cut this one to the dimension we needed, so we got one piece cut. So. We, we um, annealed it so we could cut it. Then we separated the shell because the um, hardy board was breaking down and it's not very structural anymore. So we skinned part of that uh, ceiling with the other half of this shell. What we're going to do is cut up fire bricks to um, inch and a half inch pieces and wrap it around wherever we have support. And that's where we're going to put up spaces in between our panes. So tomorrow, we're going to stack this with seven panes and do exactly what we did for the first one. So our sample work worked. We're going to cut these up into inch and a half pieces and stack seven pieces in the oven and uh, heat them up and to 900 and just let it cool. And that's it, guys. That's our oven. We had a couple more modifications. We had skinned the bottom with some sheet steel, 16th inch. And uh, we had skinned the top with 8th inch. And um, we extended our flame tube out of the oven so it's not getting any direct heat. And hopefully we got no distortion at that end anymore. So, anyways, just sharing how we made out, guys. We did it. We annealed it and we cut it. So now we're off. We're off on our way to, to uh, anneal the pieces we need to cut, cut them, and then we're going to start putting our insulated glass together. Maybe we'll share um, how we make out with those eight pieces, and then after that we'll uh, share how we're going to insulate it. All right, guys, take it easy. And as soon as we have something else to share, we'll share. Peace.